Cabrini, Cabrini, find a spot for my machini. That's actually a cute little prayer that cab drivers in New York City um, have long used. And actually, it's a little prayer that I used to pray when I used to live in the city. You know, it's a prayer appropriate for anyone uh, struggling to find a parking space, especially in a place like Chicago where parking is scarce. But St. Francis Xavier Cabrini, fondly referred to as Mother Cabrini, is far more than an effective intercessor for finding a parking spot. She was a remarkable, remarkable and valiant woman of faith who founded the Missionary Sisters of the Sacred Heart back in uh, 1880, which served orphans and offered a day school and she initially planned to found a convent in China, but Pope Leo, Pope Leo XIII directed her to do otherwise. He ordered her to go west, not east. Hence, she sailed with a small group of sisters for the United States in 1889. And incredibly, Mother Cabrini founded 67 institutions, from hospitals to schools to orphanages, all dedicated to caring for the poor, the abandoned, the uneducated or unskilled, and the sick. It is quite fitting that she is known as the patron saint of immigrants. Born in Italy in 1850 as Maria Francesca Cabrini, she later became a naturalized American citizen in 1909. She holds the honor in the Catholic Church of being the first American citizen to be canonized. Uh, not to be confused though with St. Elizabeth Ann Seton, because St. Elizabeth Ann Seton was the first American born Catholic saint. Well, Mother Cabrini's experience in America was not without its challenges. She came during a shameful time in our country's history when there was open discrimination and violent hostility towards immigrants, especially Italians, and Catholics. She herself witnessed and experienced utter contempt for Italian Americans who were seen as non-white and therefore inferior and even lower than the hated, uh, the already hated Irish. I think the more things change, right, the more they stay the same. Because even though the Irish and the Italians are no longer targets of hatred, well, bigotry and xenophobia and racism are still very much alive in this country, sad to say. Except now it's aimed at other groups, such as Hispanics or Asians and Muslims. Well, in the spirit of Mother Cabrini, the saint of immigrants, we need to respond to the gospel call for justice and love and honor the Catholic social teachings on the dignity of all persons, regardless of the color of their skin or ethnicity or upbringing or the faith they adhere to. Scripture, scripture, the word of God is very, very clear on this. Love refugees as yourself. Leave food for the poor and the foreigner. Do not oppress a foreigner. Leave your door open to the traveler. Invite the stranger in. Do not deprive foreigners among you of justice. So frankly, you know, I, I, I don't really want to hear anyone say, hey, you know, they claim to have room for Jesus in their heart, but have no room in their heart for our brothers and sisters who are oppressed or marginalized. You know, when we allow dark forces of fear and hatred to pervert the good message of Jesus in scripture, well, we move farther and farther from God. We must instead take to heart Jesus' greatest commandment to love God and to love one's neighbor.
by tending to those most in need. Well, it's about time that we understand and appreciate Catholic social teachings. It's what can help us put our faith into action. Thank you for participating in the digital liturgy today. The digital ministry touches the lives of many people, as does almost 80 other ministries here at OLPH. Grateful for the community uh, that connects to OLPH through this digital forum. It's unbelievable how many people are able to access the liturgy and other events because of this ministry. Please consider supporting OLPH. All of your sacrifices help to sustain this parish and to keep moving us into the future. Thank you very much and keep watching.